Welcome to this faculty development program on use of ICT in education for blended and online learning. We are now beginning the second week of the course. I am Sahana Murthy, a faculty member in the interdisciplinary program on educational technology at IIT Bombay. This week our topic of discussion is flipped classroom focusing on existing available online resources and in class activities. So the content of this week is flipped classroom. You may have heard of this term flipped classroom and while there is a lot of emphasis on creation of videos and screencasts etc. when you hear the term flipped classroom, flipped classroom is not only about creating videos or screencasts. These resources are no doubt useful but the idea, the strategy of flipped classroom goes beyond it. Primarily flipped classroom is about ensuring what type of learning happens where. What we mean by this is that in a typical classroom, in a traditional classroom, within the classroom the focus is on the information transmission that is the instructor usually lectures, the students uh, listen, they take notes and so on. Outside of class they may do homework, they may study in groups and so on. So what happens here is that a lot of the higher order thinking, a lot of uh, difficult problem solving etc. happens outside of class where students may have limited resources. Flipped classroom inverts this idea. The information transmission aspect of learning happens outside of class via videos and screencasts and so on. Uh, students can view these multiple times, they can uh, try to review them, understand them and so on. Inside of class, the focus is on assimilation and on activities that require a lot of higher order cognitive skills such as complex problem solving, group discussions, doing design thinking and so on. Thus flipped classroom is a way to ensure that the class time, the face to face class time where instructors are available and all students are available together is focused on assimilation rather than information transmission. Within this faculty development program, we are beginning with the flipped classroom module because the online and blended format is very suitable for implementing the flipped classroom strategy. There exists many online resources which uh, the instructor can assign to students, that is the online part of the course and in the face to face part, so a blended course has both online and face to face components. In the face to face part, the instructor and the students can concentrate more on problem solving and the assimilation type of activities. What we will do in this faculty development program is to discuss the topic of flipped classroom over two weeks. This week, in week two, we will discuss the what and why of flipped classroom, uh, for example, what are the benefits and so on. And we will also talk about effective strategies to implement flipped classroom using existing resources. The focus of this week is also what is done inside of class, that is how to design effective activities, how to ensure that students are doing active learning, how to promote uh, higher order thinking and higher order learning and so on. Specifically, we will discuss one structured in class group activity called think pair share. In terms of the format and activities, uh, we have uh, activities within IIT Bombay X as well as within Moodle. In the IIT Bombay X uh, interface, you will find what we call as learning dialogue videos or LEDs. These are videos but they contain points called reflection spots wherein you can pause the video, think of the posed question, reflect, write your answer and so on and then move on to the rest of the video. There are also many learning by doing or LBD activities inside IIT Bombay X where questions will be asked, some of these are multiple choice questions, other are short questions and so on and you have to answer those questions. These will be based on the content in the LED videos and other content. There are also discussion forums containing reflection quizzes and some resources called learning extension resources. So interact with the LED videos, do the LBD activities, and interact in the discussion forums, talk to your peers, learn from your peers and so on. 
Within Moodle, you will primarily find resource creation assessments, wherein you will create activities for your own course and so on. And these will be reviewed by your peers. Similarly, you will review your peers' assignments. Another important component within Moodle is the course portfolio using Wiki, wherein you will create your own think pair share activity this week and populate it within the wiki. So, this is an activity that you create for your own course. You will also review two other instructors activities. So, what happens is that every week you will populate the wiki with uh, resources and assignments and videos that you will create for your own course. And at the end of this faculty development program, you will have a rich collection of activities that you can use for your upcoming course. And you can also look at the collections that your uh, peers, your, the other instructors, your colleagues have created and share it so that you can build a community resource of, uh, of activities and questions and videos for uh, a particular topic. So, welcome to week 2 and let us get started.